This is APEC. It's a big deal, and I'm here to explain to you why you should care. First, some stats. About 50% of all world trade happens between these 21 economies that are part of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation. These economies represent about one-third of the planet's population and nearly two-thirds of global GDP. Now, I know these numbers may seem impressive, but you're probably still wondering, what does this have to do with me? Well, chances are some part of every product you buy or sell is somehow associated with one of these economies. And CEOs from some of the largest companies in the world are here meeting in their own summit, with sustainability being one of their four main pillars. Many hope to see these corporations coordinate efforts to do more to protect the environment. A seed planted at APEC could grow to a new computer or else other useful product with a smaller environmental footprint and made with more sustainable practices. Another substantial outcome of this summit could affect the cost of goods coming from China to the US. Right now, the price of many Chinese goods are inflated here, partially due to Trump era tariffs. Now the US wants to see a more balanced trade surplus, while China would like an end to those tariffs and the cancellation of a US led chip ban. Then there's also global safety to consider. China and the US have not had military to military contact for over a year. The White House said it wants to leave APEC with that avenue of communication back open. Because without communication, a misunderstanding could turn into a conflict and then even a war. On that note, China urged the US to honor its promises from President Joe Biden, including not supporting Taiwan independence. Lastly, there's tech. Topics like international AI regulations and digital currency are all on the table. Now, APEC is an economic forum, but it's also an opportunity for these leaders to talk. And these conversations could have positive outcomes for us all.